Hello, Battleborn. I have got a nice build here for you. This is Galilea, and I am going for a lane clear build, which is not necessarily attack damage. She's got plenty of that, but this is a um, sustainable skill damage kind of lane clear. So what we're looking for specifically in this is um, uh, Oath of Sustain, which will heal us for all the damage we do. Plus it has that natural regen. You're not trying to go after any one player necessarily and get a stun and get the heal like our legendary does. Uh, you're just trying to stay in lane, so this will actually heal minions around you too, so uh, it's kind of nice. Uh, Leech Steel Brooch will um, give us some life steal on our skill damage, okay, and bump our skill damage up a little bit. Plus the healing received, which is nice, because if we do have a healer and we're in lane and we're in trouble, popping a heal on us, it gives us a little, a little it, gives, it just makes it a little bit better. Um, also, looks like Sustain has some attack damage, which is fine. Um, Stolen Edge of Arcanor, Arcanor, I could have swapped this out, but honestly, Galilea needs to build up her corruption pretty quickly, and attack speed is just wonderful with her. I, I mean, it's, it's one of those things where this, this piece could be anything. You don't want to go all skill damage, because then she'll be swinging like, like a tree. It's so slow. So you gotta, you gotta give her some sort of, um, uh, some sort of speed in there, okay? Because, because on the loadout, uh, on the loadout, what I took just to get her leveled up so I could actually talk. What I took was the pull, Vortex, everyone does that, only because in PvP you're going to pull them close, and you, which is kind of nice. This, if this loadout you want to pull anything close, okay? Um, you could put a wound on it, yell, that's just common, I usually do that anyways, unless I want to shield throw, um, stun a couple of people, or, or whatever, just because I have their legendary, but I don't, so I'm going to go with uh, wound. Wound is actually pretty powerful, so that, I'm going to stick with that, that's pretty common. Um, dangerous to go it alone. This is also a build-up corruption. Um, we don't need a, a heal or, uh, or the corruption increase quicker. That's, that's fine. She, it doesn't take long to build up corruption. Uh, and this one, here's where it's different. Okay, so I took Forsaken Grounds, and if you notice, it does 511 damage at rank 10. I believe it starts out at like 386 or something like that at level 4 when you first can select this. But 511 is actually pretty nice, and that might be affected by our buildables, but wait a minute, we haven't got our gear yet, so that will actually, that'll actually be higher, okay, so we'll add that up and that'll be higher, but if you think about it, if you get a group of five by, and it's doing 500 each over, well, 11 seconds, that's a long time, uh, you're talking about a long time, but, uh, it's, it is ticking probably for 50 damage a pop a second, about 50 damage a second, something like that, just a little lower, about 45, we'll see. But that's not bad if you're hitting five people at a time. That's not bad. That's pretty good. Next thing is uh, health regeneration. Now, I did this because we're not an attack build. This is a lane clear build. So while the Galilea is up, I want to be able to have some regen. And that gets her, keeps her... Uh, it's dangerous to go alone up. And also allows you to stay in lane a little bit better. Okay? So Because you are going to be taking some hits from everybody. Right? You're not going to be able to see what's going on in the backfield when you're sitting there up front fighting minions. But, yeah, okay, so we don't need attack speed, and we're not going to do corruption build, that's, corruption is fine. Uh, Desecrate Duration, absolutely must take Dark Age, because you're going to throw that down there, and it's going to stay down there. Duelist, yeah, that's fine, you can, if you wanted to, you could just chuck your shield into the air and put this in here, but, quite honestly, I mean, the shield's nice if you have to, re to, to, uh, to defend, uh, it used to be when you first played Gal Galileo, you do, the first thing you do is you throw the shield up into the sky, and you start running faster and hitting harder. Well, yeah, that's because of Duelist and because of uh, uh, whatever else. I can't remember what it is. Because of, yeah, this one. It's dangerous with Whatever it is. Because of, but if you don't have the shield, you just chuck it up in the air, and then all of a sudden, hey, look, I'm doing this. Oh, that's what it is. It's Tide Turner. Tide Turner Duelist made her basically throw your shield in the air and go run and, attack and kill stuff. Okay, so let's go to 7. Uh, sorry, level uh, tier 8. Helix, we're going to Blight Town to enlarge the area of effect because I, we we pulled them in, but we, since we're not putting a slow on them, I want to put a bigger radius, which gives us more ability to sap life, do damage, and all that. Okay. Uh, Tide Turner, we definitely want to be able to run up to something really quickly when we land it, and then we are going to we want to remain abysmal form. We want to be fully corrupted at all times if we can in this loadup because uh, all that skill damage is life. Okay, so. Um, I don't know that there's, I, I guess I need to play for a little while just so you can see the differences and we can compare. I only have seven minutes, so, and they've got the zone here. So let me go ahead and, let me go ahead and, uh, get, hit this thing, kill this thing out, get some, 
damage on her. Whatever this boss is doing. I, I, I honestly, I probably should just go for the loadout right away. Let's get get the loadout right away, because this is... It's difficult to play her without gear. Let's just be honest. Okay, so let's go ahead and do that. WTQ. That's how I have mine bound to. Back, bop. Get some health up here. And let's get some do some damage. I may have to do a second episode where I just basically have the health damage on here. But let's put these in. Does the damage. Watch my health. I'm in 34.6 regen naturally, but it's going, it's charging up much faster than 34.6. Okay. Get up in there close. Okay. It's charged. We're, we're healing a lot faster than that. A, a lot faster. So, so you want to stay corrupted. So you want to stay in battle. And look at that. We're at full health. Now we're really doing some damage. As everyone knows, Galileo will. But when they pull them all together, then we just mow them down. And I'm going to go into corruption form. And look at that. That is a huge heal. Look at that. That is really a big deal. Really good stuff. Oops. Throw that in the air. Who am I going after? It's hard to see the numbers with all these effects going on. And these guys are all like high rank. I let them. I had, to, I, had to, I had to build this guy uh, naturally, so so I'll just stun him. Oops, a little so by doing not loading, not running this with my gear, it has actually slowed down how much time I could could to get built up. Okay, so I like to top off if I could, but oh well. Okay, so I didn't take health regen on the desecrate. Well, I didn't take. I just did the pull with some damage. So oh yeah, we forgot to check on that. Uh, let me kill this, get some uh, corruption, and we'll we'll see what our heal is, or what our damage is on corruption. Looks like it's doing skill 5, right? Okay, it didn't update this tooltip while we had corruption on it. But pull it. A lot of AoE damage, circle strafe. The whole point of this is to, is again, is to is literally to lay and clear. Your job is to clear the minions and draw attention to everybody. Come there. I line of sight her a little alt there. Where'd she go? I can hear, so I'm hitting her with my little. <laughs> hey. Oh, he's got a taser. Taser isn't gonna help. But this will. All right, going down. I'm going down. All right. So I don't know if you're noticing the healing in there. I mean, there wasn't a lot of minions to clear. You, I mean, I didn't, and I left lane, so I should have stepped with, stayed with the minions there. But, uh, but in general, the reason that this reason why this works uh, is basically because of life steal brooch, right? Uh, you already have, you already have your healing coming from desecrate, right? <clears throat> and you already have have your healing coming from abysmal. Uh, sorry, whenever you have uh, corruption going on, forty four damage per second, right? But of that forty four damage per second, a good two and a half damage is coming in from the life steal brooch per tick per mob. And the ultimate sustained is doing uh, 2.7 damage on other damage per hit. Okay, as long as it's not shield, it has to be health damage, which is why we have the attack speed. So you are getting about 4% damage per hit as long as it's health damage, 4%, 4.5%, something like that. So that's not bad. If you think about a life steal that is that is damage based, it's skill damage based. Well, one skill damage based, the other one is all damage based, right? So if you're looking at that type of a out. Let's squash this. Boom. Let's mow, mow them down here. I should be able to heal. And Montana is going to be. That's fine. Let me keep that corruption up. Look at that heal. 13. Ah, I hit the wall. There's tow hooks and then there's. Shield hooks, apparently, because that shouldn't have happened. But I want, to, but they, I want to keep them in the desecrate. That's the hard part with that PVP. You can't say tell tell PVP people, "Hey, stand in my desecrate." You know that little damage you're taking, and it's not really significant enough to go toe to toe with a person. Okay, and it, but the point is, is to is to go to stay in lane. That really is. That's what we're trying to build here. Okay, is. Is something that is, um, you're taking the damage, you're taking the tension away from your minions, you're taking the tension away from your people in the backfield. 
and you're able to get a lot of min a lot of minion cure kills. Okay, which means you're gonna have a experience like crazy. So if you if you put this loadout while you're leveling, it will come a lot faster. Um, it will come. I mean, you'll you'll be able to build up a lot faster. Watch. Here we go. Come back here. Ah. Of course you'd go for the turret. Well, I'm going to keep you from getting any Osmos stacks. Ah, and I got bubbled. Oh well. I guess my thumper got her? That's irony. No, I didn't have a thumper. Did I hire a, an elite? I don't know what happened. Something happened! Okay. Alright. Well, when I saw that group, I should have probably turned around. Uh, how much time do we have? One minute. Ah, well, this game is gonna be this is gonna be over. Okay, so again to review, this is where this is where the debate really comes in. If you play Galley different, I mean, you're that you could probably uh, switch this out quite a bit. Um, the uh, the main one I keep thinking right here is if you went with Chaotic Confusion instead of Forsaken Grounds, you don't need this loadout. You don't need Life Steal Brooch because the whole point of this was to do skill damage that heals you. And that 30 heal per second in your Desecrate is great when you're standing in there. But what happens with this one, specifically, is that I could actually go, with this loadout, I could I could go drop my Desecrate in a group of minions that are approaching, that are going to meet up against my minions, and then run away. And I don't have to be in lane to get the heal from the Desecrate, right? So, um, if you're absolutely, absolutely worried about it, you can pop your Desecrate down run around a corner, okay, and all that damage that's happening to those guys is healing you, okay? That's another beauty of this little loadout, okay? And if you want to get back in, shield throw, you get back in, whatever. Okay, so that's, that is the loadout we have today, which is a uh, sustained leech steel brooch and, what was that one? Uh, stolen edge of uh, Arc Venor. I will list everything, all the sources in the description. Have fun. I'm gonna call. I don't know. I'm gonna call this the lane clear loadout. So, looks good. Like, favorite, share it, and let me know. Comment. Let me know what you want to see. We'll talk to you later. Bye.